Hey guys, and welcome to this tutorial on how to add Microsoft Flight Simulator X add-on scenery files into your Dovetail Games Flight Sim world. So, the actual setup for this is not too hard, it's only really got one more step that FSX did not have, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to do it nice, quickly and simply. So, the first thing you want to do is select the scenery you're actually going to use. So, in this tutorial I'll be doing Trivetsky Design Polish Airports Volume 1. So, go to add-on scenery folder, and select the folder you're going to use. So in this case, Polish Airports Volume 1, Echo, Papa, Romeo, Zulu, or Jezio Fichantka and copy it over into your add-on scenery directory in Flight Sim World. So just copy it over, and there you go. So next thing you want to do is go back to the root directory of Flight Sim World, scroll down to the scenery.config, and scroll down to the very bottom of that, where it gets to the last one, in this case, area 126. Highlight all of this, copy it, and paste it below, before adding one to everything. So area 126, add one. Title, IDS 121, add one and layer 126, add 1. So now it's created a new layer and change the priority in the list. Now what to do is rename the scenery, so in this case I'm doing Jeshuf. So rename that Jeshuf, and select the local to the root folder. So in this case I put in add on scenery, and it's EPRZ. So other than that, that's pretty much all set up now. Save the file, and you can load up Dovetail Games, Slight Sim World. So like I said, really easy and simple setup. There you go, build a new database of scenery files. And it's exactly the same process as in Microsoft Flight Simulator X. So there's no issues with conversion, no 32-bit, 64-bit issues in this one. It's just as simple as dropping in the new scenery, going to the config, and sticking a new line in basically of the new scenery that you're doing. So I can show you if you go to free flights, select the aircraft, we'll just go into the Seneca 5. If we then go to weather conditions, average weather, and departure airport is Jeshua Fishantka. There you go, EPRZ, confirm that, start your flights, and just like that, you've now got scenery installed into your Dovetail Games Flight Sim world. So originally, FSX, you could um, input it into a scenery library, which had every single scenery installed in that list, where you can change priority. This simulator, Flight Sim world, did not have that installed, included, so you have to go to the config files directly, and just stick a new line below it. So, not too much of an added step, but... Overall, works exactly the same way. So once the simulator loads, I can show you that the simulator scenery has now installed. Once it loads. Right, so there we go. Start your flight, and as you can see, the new scenery has now installed. So this is not the fault, this is the Drivesi design model. So it's about 99.9% .9 there. It's not 100%, and I'll show you what I mean. So if I go on a takeoff roll, and as you can see, the majority of the scenery exists. So you've got the new terminal layouts, the new structure and all that exists. Runway, taxiways, all that. But not everything appears. In case you can see the interior of that hangar, you can look right through it. Otherwise, I think that's the only major issue I really see in this entire scenery. And it's not something you're really going to look at the majority anyway. So if I now rotate, you know, very bad takeoff. And fly over towards the terminal. As you can see, that's all there. No problems whatsoever. And there you go. Likewise, Drivix Design um, Post Airports does also have VFR scenery around this airport. So if we go to top down view, you can see that this entire scenery has now been changed and it's a lot nicer than the default scenery. So, uh, yeah, that's how I install scenery files into Dubstyle Games Flight Sim World. Nice, quick, and simple. And other than that, I think there you go. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Do leave a like, do subscribe, do share on social media as well. I mean, a lot of people have been asking how to add scenery. So, there you go. This is how you do it. Thank you for watching and hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.